Hi, Tracy here from Uniquely Creative. Let's make an industrial edge layout with my leftovers. This is a great new collection pack released in January. I made a layout already and have all these amazing leftover pieces, so why not use them? This time I'm going to scrapbook Pearl. Last time I scrapbooked a more masculine layout, but it's a really edgy collection, so let's do it. Cut off the barcode strip and give it a little de-stress with our edge distressing tool. And now I've got all of these leftover pieces from my last layout. This one was fabulous, so why not use it? When I glue down my uh, pieces, I always stick about a centimeter from the edge because I know later on I'm going to come back and want to put things under the layers. So this is uh, the new layering die and I'd cut it out and use this piece first layout but this one here is so good like why wouldn't I use that because it's the reverse of it so I'm just going to cut that out of the scrap and I'm going to stick it underneath one of the layers and that's why we left a centimeter I've got some doilies here and I want to create a little frilly doily edge not just shove the doily under there so I've cut around the center and I've cut that out and I'm going to just concertina fold it like back and forth like a fan fold like you did when you were a kid and I'm going to stick that across the top there under the layer I decided it'll look great so this time I'm going to do the same thing with three doilies so I don't have to do it multiple times and just peel them apart and I'm going to stick it underneath here so I thought let's create some layers we've got the doily layer and then I have got that paper book edge layer I'm going to just put that in there underneath stick it underneath there I wanted another layer across the front because I felt like it was a bit busy so I chose this one because I already had the strip it was the leftover layout there's no fussy cutting here it's all just die cuts and leftovers so I have ripped the same edge although this one is horizontal I don't think it matters because I'm going to cover most of it anyway with more embellishments so it's just creating that extra textural layer I can put things underneath so that one's down also left a centimeter space because I am going to rip up some corrugated cardstock here and into smaller pieces so that I can start layering them under those layers. So we've got a little doily layer and now we're going to add in this corrugated layer. So we're gonna slip that in a few different spots, just again with the 450 glue and all these little pieces I rip off, I'm actually also going to stick under layers as well. So this just helps create texture and warmth in our scrapbooking. And I like to repeat myself. So I put it on the right, I'm gonna have some down the left. Same with my two pieces of doily. You can see I've already done that. So behind this one, I'm gonna add another piece of a doily just to add that texture and the layers and then another little piece just under here so now we've got three layers we've got the doily the paper edge and now we have some corrugated the next step is to just check my photo fits and I think I want to raise my photo up so I can add more layers underneath there so I've just used a piece of my corrugated to mount my photo because it's a large photo and I just didn't want to use all my phone mounts doing that. I will save them for something else. This is our new cog die. This is called Metalwork and I just had this left over. So I just separated the cog. So I've got one single cog and then two double cogs. Again, if I've got it in the left, I'm going to put some down the right. I loved this layer, but I felt like it needed more warmth. I had the paper layer. So now I'm going to add in some wooden cogs these have just popped out of our wooden cog a laser cut sheet and I'm going to put them top and bottom it's also layering a few little elements from the creative cuts there's lots of gorgeous little tickets and ledgers and numbers in the creative cuts that match this collection so beautifully and I'm just layering them top and bottom so again if I put some numbers at the top I'm going to find some to put down the bottom I cut these little tabs out of our essential die number seven these are great literally just ran the die through didn't match it up with anything just so I could have some tabs and here I am as I said before, I've got some numbers at the top. I want some numbers down the bottom. And the bit I ripped off, I'm going to stick it up the top. So we're just going to keep layering these in underneath each other. I then found I had some brass cogs as well. So why not? Let's add another layer of texture in there. So we've got the brass cogs, the paper cogs, and the wooden cogs. And they look fabulous. Just to finish off, I decided to add a few more of these little elements coming out towards the right. Um, just to bring it across the page so it wasn't all stacked too far to the left. Added a cute little number four because gorgeous little Pearl was four when this was taken. So that's it. The layout is finished. Lots of texture. It took me about 10 minutes.